Hi Lee, and thanks for your question. Do I have any tips and recommendations to help you get your mojo back? Well, first of all, let me tell you that you are not alone in this experience. I'm sorry that you're having this experience, by the way. And just know that there are many others who are sharing this feeling, so you are in no way alone. And the fact that you've asked the question means that you have everything that you need within you to create something different and more effective for yourself. So know that. I would also like to point out that if this is a long-term depression, where you're feeling like you no longer want to be here on this planet, obviously that's very serious and you need to seek professional help, medical help. It could be a medical condition, a chemical imbalance, a hormonal imbalance. It could be something dietary. It could be a health issue. So it's something that you definitely want to get checked out if that's your experience. On the other hand, if it's what you consider to be a momentary rut where you do not seem to have the energy to live rather than simply exist, I do have some things that will hopefully assist in getting that mojo back that you speak of. One of the things that I have found in my experience and the experience of those I've worked with when you are experiencing this somewhat low-grade depression is often it's a result of living a very insular life where your life has become very me-focused, where you're sort of stuck in a routine. So one of the first things I would suggest is get out of your house and do something for other people that are in greater need than you. Perhaps you can volunteer at the local food bank or one of the local charities. If that doesn't speak with you, have fun creating some random acts of kindness. One of the things I have done from time to time is I will just make sort of schoolboy lunches and brown bags with inspirational messages and I'll just go out without direction on the street until I find someone who I feel needs it and offer it to them. I go to laundromats, put quarters in the slots with little signs that say, you are the recipient of a random act of kindness. Perhaps you want to buy coffee for someone behind you in line at Starbucks. Perhaps you want to pay the toll for the person behind you on the tollway. Perhaps you want to help your neighbor with her groceries. There's a number of things you can do. Be creative. That simply involves getting outside of yourself. That's number one. Some simpler things that you can do. One is find a song that you really love. Something that really inspires you at the very depth of your soul. A happy song. And play it every morning. At least once a day. And when no one's looking, dance like a crazy person. I mean, danced where if somebody saw you, they would have you immediately committed. Just go wild. Get your energy out. The gratitude journal. Every night before bed, write down five things for which you are grateful for from that day. Be very specific. None of these global things, but specific like the pizza that you had for lunch. It doesn't have to be earth shattering. Now this may be challenging for you at first, but eventually if you exercise this discipline, you will begin to feel a shift. Also, during this period, try to avoid the temptation of lots of sugary sweet foods and alcohol or recreational drugs. As much as those might be a great temptation, they probably will not help you in this capacity. Get out a piece of paper and write down the things that you are sick of in your life, the things that you hate, the things that you do not want any longer. And in the same sitting, once you have done that, go back and say, if I don't want this, what do I want? Write that down and look at that list and see if there are things, steps that you can take starting today to either create the change or to take steps in that direction. These are just some small things that hopefully will begin to create a momentary shift for you, a crack in the door so that you can begin to see the light again. If I can offer any further assistance or speak to you further, please contact me. That's part of why I'm here. And for you, Lee, and for everyone out there who's having the same experience, I just want all of us that are listening to just take a moment and send love to Lee and to all those having that experience and just see them lifted out of this momentary rut and finding their joy again. 
Until next time, if you have a question, submit it to mark at askmarkward.com. I'll do what I can. You know what? I thought of something else. Make a list of 50 things that are fun, 50 things that you enjoy doing. Once you have done that, which again may be a challenge at first, commit to doing at least one of those things every day, at least one, for the next month. Okay, that's it. Bye.